Hello, hello, and welcome to Nails for the Week. My name is Lori, and I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day. I know I am, because you're here, and we get to play in the nail room. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. It's free for you and means the world to me. So let's get started. Well, I have absolutely nothing on my nails, and I think I might just be going insane because of it. But... I do have these lavender violets dipping powders along with a couple of ASP. If you don't know what that is, it's all season professional. Uh, quick dip powders as well as this Glam and Glitz acrylic powder that I thought I absolutely needed called Blue Rain. I bought that one from Amazon, but these all of the dip powders my mom found at a rummage sale so apparently the lady that had them thought that it was too hard to do all of the work that it takes to do dip i guess i didn't think it was that much work but to each their own whatever they want to do so each of these little bottles has a protective little card on the top and they're pretty full not too bad not too bad at all there's uh, supposed to be 10 grams in the pot now if you are new to dip you're gonna first want to use number one which is a nail cleaner and dehydrator if you're using a if you're on a real nail a natural nail otherwise as you can see I just put um, number two on there which is the glue and you're gonna want to dip it in there real quick and then pull her out and then knock off any excess then you gotta wait for it to dry and then you're gonna do the same thing again at that point after your after it's on there as thickly as you want it to be as thick or as opaque then you're going to go ahead and you're going to use number three which is the activator and it really makes it dry really really dry really really hard it's basically like super glue on the top of your nail so this first color was what was it Persian Pink, person pink. I'll go ahead and and then step three is the top coat. And what or no, step three was the activator, four is the brush cleaner. And what I do is after you are all done using the activator, you're gonna wanna switch brushes with the top with the brush cleaner. As you can see right there because if the activator comes into contact with number two the glue or the base coat it could wreck the brush so you just put it right in the brush cleaner and forget about it so here are the colors that come in this kit you want to take a look I will go away and let you
So for me, I always like to check the dip powders to see if they are good quality dip powders by seeing if they will work with monomer. <laughs> Uh, the lavender violets will absolutely not work with monomer as you can see I'm taking that Persian pink again that we did at the start and it's just chalk It absolutely completely destroyed my brush. It took me a very very long time to clean it out It was just all full of dust. It was just <laughs> Just nasty. Don't try it. Just don't <laughs> Um, yeah, it just, after 10 minutes, it could, you could just wipe it off. It was just, it was bad. It was really, really bad. Um, so don't do that with the lavender violets. Um, with All Seasons Professional, you could use it as, I wouldn't recommend it. I think it takes extra time to dry, but it would work so there you go just so you know so what did you think of this pack what do you think of this pack it's got a lot of pretty colors in there and if you're willing to go through the work of doing a couple extra you know steps when you're doing your nails rather than just painting them um it lasts a lot longer than nail polish does and it's hard and gives it a nice so it's very difficult to break your nails when you're wearing a dip powder. So do you guys dip? Do you like this collection? Let me know down in the comment section down below and please like it if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!